Hi there. Now in this video I'm just going to take you through part B of this question. If you want to check out part A this is the answer but if you want to check it out in full do go back and have a look at the previous video I did on this one. So if you haven't read this question and want to have a go just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay welcome back then. So we've got to find the commutative distribution function big F of x then for all values of x from this probability density function. So when you've got several functions like this what we've got to do is take a lot of care as well. It's a very common mistake that's made which uh, hopefully I'll point out to you as we go through. But first of all we start with this interval where x is between 0 and 3 and we're looking at any value of x then in this interval and what we're trying to do is work out the area to the left of it okay this value here is our x at this stage and the area then gives us the probability of being less than or equal to that particular value of x. So let's just write down that first interval then that we're working with and that is x is between 0 and 3 and that means that f of x is given by the integral from the lower limit which is 0 to x and we're integrating x squared over 45 right with respect to x and if you integrate this then you're going to get x cubed over 135 that'd be three times the 45 okay and that goes between the limits then of 0 to x so if you substitute x through you're going to get x cubed divided by 135 and then it subtracts what you get when you put naught through, or well, that's just simply naught. So this is our first result. Next, we need to consider the interval between 3 and 4, where x is any value in that interval. And we're looking for the area now to the left of that. And to do this, you've got to take care. It's not the integral from 0 to x. What we've got to do is look at the integral between 3 and x for this particular value, 1 fifth in this case. And then add to that the area, if I just draw a dotted line down here, say, the area to the left of 3, add it on. So let's just put this down here that we're considering the interval where x lies between 3 and 4. So f of x will be given then as being equal to, we'll look at this rectangle in here, it's going to be equal to the integral going from 3 to x, okay, 3 to x of our function here which is 1 fifth and that's integrated with respect to x. That will give us the area then of that thin rectangle and then we need to add on the area up to 3 and we can get that by substituting x equals 3 into here. So that comes out as 3 cubed which is 27 so you're going to have 27 divided by 135. This actually cancels down to 1 fifth okay so that area to the left of 3 is one fifth of a unit we could actually work this area out this thin rectangle as just being the width which is x minus 3 times the height one fifth so that's going to be the result of carrying out this integral you can check it out either way so if we integrate this then we're going to have x over 5 and that's going to be between the limits then of x going from 3 to x and then we've got plus the 1 fifth on the end 
And if we substitute x in now, we've got x over 5. And then we subtract what we get when we put 3 through, so that's minus 3 fifths. And we've got the 1 fifth on the end here. Clean this up, pull out, say, 1 fifth as a common factor, and you've got x and minus 3 fifths plus a fifth is minus 2 fifths, so just put minus 2 there. So that's that particular interval. So next, let's just remove this, okay? We're looking at placing x in the interval 4 to 10. And so I'm looking now at all of this area to the left of it. And again, I have to take care here because I just need to consider the area in this part here and add the area back from x equals 4. So let's just put down the interval that we're looking at first of all, and that is that x is greater than or equal to 4, but less than or equal to 10. So f of x is going to be equal to the integral going from 4 to x, okay, of our line here, which is 1 third Let's just put that in brackets, 1 third minus x over 30. We're integrating that with respect to x. And this is where we've got to take care. We've got to add on now the area between 3 and 4, which is a rectangle. The width is 1 unit, the height is 1 fifth, so the area is going to be 1 fifth. And we need all the area back to the from the left of x equals 3, back to the origin. We already found that out earlier. We found it out in this one. It was 1 fifth. So we got plus another 1 fifth. So if we integrate this, we've got integral of a third is going to be x over 3, and the integral of minus x over 30 is going to be minus x squared over 60. And this is going then between the limits. Let's just put the square brackets in. It's going between the limits then of 4 and x. And then we got plus 2 fifths. So that was the area to the left of the 4. Working this out, putting the x through, just going to give us the same as what we got in the bracket. x over 3 minus x squared over 60. Then we subtract what we get when we put 4 through. So you're going to have 4 thirds there. 4 thirds here. This is going to be 16 sixtieths. So 16 sixtieths. And then you've got the plus 2 fifths. And working this out, you end up with x over 3. And then you've got minus x squared over 60. And then minus 2 thirds. OK, so that is our other value of f of x. So we've got all our three regions there. And we should remember now that when x is less than 0, then the area to the left of any value of 0 is going to be 0. But when you take a value more than 10, the area to the left of 10 gives us the probability, and that's going to be 1. It's going to be all of this area in here. You're guaranteed to get any value that is more than 10. So f of x is going to equal 1 when x is more than 10. Now, I haven't got any room here, but in summary, when we write out the commutative distribution function f of x for all values of x, then this is what we have. Okay, well, I hope that's given you some idea then on how to do that particular question. If you want any further help, do check out the video tutorials that I've got on this on my website. Okay?